Yeah, that's right. And the county says because their plans to bring students back were made while they were still in the red tier, they are able to move forward with the reopening process. So about 4900 students and 20 elementary schools in this district will be back on campus for in person learning for the first time since March starting tomorrow. Now some families I spoke with are anxious to get back already, but others I spoke with say it's too much of a risk with coronavirus cases surging across our county right now. My thought is keep the kids home, keep them safe, keep their families safe because there is no protections for anybody, it feels like. Arden Whips is a mom of three kids, all of which will be going back to school Thursday morning for the first time since March, despite the county moving into tougher restrictions. If it's purple tier and it has to go indoor restrictions shut down or social distancing six feet, Schools should not be above that. But for Sean Navabi, it's a much different story. The online learning for him, it, it never worked, never really worked. I mean, His youngest son in first grade has autism nonverbal. So he's okay with sending his boys back to school in person. So for him, it's just a, it's especially important to get that that one on one touch and just kind of get that routine back and get things going. And the Folsom Cordova Education Association, representing a little more than a thousand teachers, says the timing just doesn't quite add up. The students don't return to campus until Thursday, and we just moved back in the purple tier Tuesday. So how is this okay? They say they don't have verification that all 20 sites have the new safety precautions put into place just yet. So they're calling on the district to reconsider these plans. That would be our ultimate hope is that they would do the right thing and say, you know, given the current circumstances, given this new change to the purple tier, we'll remain on distance learning until it's safe. Now, in the event that a staff member or student does test positive, the district says that all people that came within close contact of that person will be notified and asked to quarantine at home for 14 days. Back to you. Lena, thank you.